Hi friends, in this session we study about properties of triangles. So in triangle, you see a triangle is one of the basic shapes in geometry. A polygon with three corners or vertices and three sides or edges which are line segments. A triangle with vertices ABC is denoted by triangle ABC or in other words, a closed figure consisting of three line segments linked end to end or a three-sided polygon is called the triangle or the word triangle derived from Latin word uh, tri, tri means three and the angulus means corner or angle. So it is the, uh, the triangle word which derived the Latin word. Now explain you a triangle here. Uh, this is our triangle. Uh, we are putting some name to the vertices or the corners. This is our A vertex. This is our B vertex, and this is our C vertex. We have to always de always denote the vertex with the capital letters of English alphabet, and the side opposite to the vertex is denoted by the small letter. Side BC, which is opposite to angle A or the vertex A, is denoted by small A the length of side BC and the length of side AC which is opposite to the vertex B is denoted by small b and the length of side AB which is opposite to the vertex C is denoted by small c. So this is the terminology we have to use in triangle. So as per the Definition you see here is the polygon with three corners. So there are three corners A, B, C or the vertices we say three side A, B, B, C and A, C. We have the three sides or edges which are line segments. This triangle is called A, B, C or we could mention this by triangle A, B, C in this way. Or in other words, if you classify this, the uh, in other words, if you define this, a closed figure consisting of three line segments linked end to end. So there are three side uh, line segments here you see in other words a closed figure consisting of three line segments linked end to end. So here see the three line segment A, B, B, C and C are uh, linked end to end A, B then B, C and C, A or it is a three sided polygon shape according to this. So we could write uh, there are the component we have uh, components we have in this triangle vertex A or we could say the angle A angle B and angle C these are the vertices or the angles and uh, other are the sides, side AB, BC and CA, these are the line segment or we could say AB is uh, C, AB is C, BC is A and CA is B. So in this way we could classify the triangle. Now, now I explain the properties of triangle. Uh, first you see the first property we have to see about the vertex. The vertex, the plural is vertices, is a corner of the triangle. Every triangle has three vertices. So I explain you here uh, the vertex A, vertex B, vertex C. These are the vertices A, B and C. Now we talk about the base. So base, you see the base of a triangle can be any one of three sides. Usually the one drawn at the bottom you pick one any side you like to be the base commonly used as the as a reference side for calculating area of triangle in an isosceles triangle the base is usually taken to be the unequal sides so here you see it is an obtuse angle triangle so here if i put the name give the name to the vertices a b c you could take any either of the side uh, as a base, you could take BC as base, you could take AB as base and AC is also base. I explain later in the altitude. So here also if we see ABC is here. So it is an equilateral triangle. So you could take any side as a base and uh, 
uh, altitude would be corresponding to that uh, which is 90 degree on that so here you see another one i explain over here is abc it is an isolated triangle that this side is equal to this side so always we have to take this side the unequal side should be the base as in the isosceles triangle the base is usually taken to be the unequal sides so here the unequal sides so this would be the base so this is the base for this so now i explain you the altitude the altitude of a triangle is the is the perpendicular from the base to the opposite vertex the base may be need to be extended as in the obtuse angle triangle we extend the base i explain you now uh, since there are three possible bases there are also three possible altitudes so here if we i explain you here if you have to find out the altitude if you are taking the base as bc we are taking bc as base uh, bc i change the color first a bc as base we are taking and we have to find out the altitude of the opposite vertex the opposite of bc the vertex is a so we have to draw we have to extend this base first so we will extend this base up to here and we draw a perpendicular from vertex a on this extended base so this would be the perpendicular this is our uh, d point we could assume here this is our d point so the base would be bc and the altitude would be ad ad would be the altitude so this is the altitude we have ad is altitude here here in equilateral triangle it's very easy so we just draw a altitude from opposite vertex on this bc so if we assume bc as base the, uh, the this would be ad would be the altitude here if we assume ac is base we could draw in this way 90 degree and it is c would be uh, the altitude which is 90 degree on ac and if we draw in this way so you see here it is cf would be the altitude and ab would be the base so in this way we could find out i explain you this optics angle triangle other uh, way also uh, uh, coming on that matter just now here you see in abc we are taking all if we have to take it, it it would better if we take the unequal side as a base so we draw this here so this is our ad is our altitude and bc is our base here now in optics angle triangle you see we have taken here uh, the base as bc now we take the base as uh, i write down here the name this is the a b and c now we are taking the base as ac so we draw a perpendicular from the opposite vertex which is b so this this would be like this so this is bd would be the base and ac would be and sorry here you see the bd would be the altitude and ac would be the base so in this way you could find out other way we also have one or we have taken base this now we take base this one so what will happen we have to see so if we take base this one so we have to uh, we need a perpendicular from this place so we ex expand this up to some extent and draw one perpendicular from here uh, this is our abc we already know that uh, so a b and c and this is our d point so the ab is base and cd is altitude so this is our altitude now so in this way we could uh, draw the alti altitude from the opposite vertex of the base corresponding to the base now i would like to explain about the median now i explain you about the fourth property which is related to the median the median of a triangle is a line from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side the three medians intersect at a single point called the centroid of a triangle so here first i give the name to these vertices a b c these are the vertices of a triangle now i draw the medians from each of the vertices to the opposite side the midpoint of the opposite side so i give the name to the opposite side 
uh, that this is the midpoint so just a moment uh, this is the midpoint this is our D point this is the midpoint of AC this is our E and this is the midpoint of AB which is F so I draw a line uh, from A to D here so I draw a line here A to D this is our median first median we have drawn here the second median I am drawing from B to E look at here and the third median I am drawing from these C to F so look at here all the medians intersected uh, a common point uh, the medians a single point so here you see that they intersected a single point or uh, this single point is called centroid or we could denote it by uh, any letter because ABC we have already taken so we could uh, denote this by G so G is the letter uh, we are denoting for centroid so this is the G point uh, and this is the median now I would like to explain about the interior angles the interior angles of a triangle the three angles on the, the side of a triangle at each vertex the inter angles of a triangle always eight above add up to 180 degree so we see these are a b c the three angles this angle plus this angle plus this angle the sum of all angle is one eight. these are the inter angle because the inside of a triangle this it's obtained so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree these are another property we will prove these in our later sessions forthcoming sessions we see these are all things the exterior angles we see the angle between a side of a triangle and the extension of an adjacent side the exterior angles of a triangle always add up to 360 degree so here you see this angle that is a side the adjacent side uh, uh, the angle between the side of a triangle and the extension of an adjacent side so side of a triangle and the adjacent uh, extension of the adjacent side this angle then this angle then this angle so these angles are exterior angles and the sum of these all exterior angles uh, first i give the name to this these are our a vertex these are our b vertex these are our c vertex so the angle a b and c we have to find out uh, the, this is the a exterior angle recording exterior angle if you see exterior angle a exterior angle b exterior angle c is equal to 360 degree so this is the way to find out it is always a double exterior of angle a exterior of angle b exterior of angle o, always 360 degree in any sort of triangle this is our last one also the shortest side is always opposite with the smallest interior angle look at here the longest side is always opposite to the largest interior angle it is we have a triangle abc and it is an right angle triangle i just like to explain you this so angle b is the largest angle in here and the side opposite to this is the which is the hypotenuse this is the largest side in the triangle and this angle a is a acute angle which is the smallest one in this triangle they see the length of this bc is the smallest one here and this is the middle one angle which is greater than angle a and the smaller than angle b the length of this side is um, between the length of the side bc and ac it is the middle side where yeah. so i explain you here so angle b is greater than angle a so opposite side opposite to angle b is ac is greater than side opposite to angle a which is bc similarly if i uh, write down angle C 
is greater than angle A, so the side opposite to angle C, AB, is greater than side opposite to angle A, which is BC. And finally, we see if angle B is greater than angle C. So look at here. So uh, side opposite to angle B is AC, which is greater than side opposite to angle C, which is AB. So this is the property we have to follow in triangle. The shortest side is always opposite the so, uh, smallest interior angle, and the longest side is always opposite the largest interior angles. So this we have studied in this session. Thank you.